Well, hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. Okay, so our food costs have went up 30% plus uh, in the last few months, and it's expected to go up even higher. So I thought it was it was time for us to maybe think about and for me to demonstrate how to um, buy meat or vegetables for less and to stretch that package even further so that you can now not feel your pockets getting empty at the grocery store. Okay? So let's look at some things. Normally I buy a very large family size uh, spinach and it's usually $4.99 okay I cut back I bought this package of spinach and it is uh, 10 ounces okay I want to say the one that I usually get I'm gonna guess I don't remember exactly I believe it's probably uh, maybe two pounds I'll check it and let you know on the next time okay so I bought this package is two dollars and fifty cents okay and it's uh, spinach for great cooking so normally I would cook it you know if you cook this it will shrink down and it seems like it's very very little well I thought about doing something different today and instead of shrinking it down, I mean, instead of cooking it down, I'm going to, I cut it up, chopped it up raw like it is here, and I'm going to add it right to my dish just like that so that I don't have to use the whole bag. I can have the balance for another meal. Another good tip from Grandma Ray Don't Play. Okay. Okay, so now... I went to Hannaford's, it's a grocery store, and they had uh, chicken breast on sale for 99 cents a pound. Let me show you that. Here's the tag here. I'm going to try to put it as close as I can. 99 cents a pound. And so I got, this is 5.5 two pounds and I paid as you can see four dollars and ninety seven cents now that's pretty good for chicken breasts okay so now I'm going to open the package with you and we're going to see how many meals we can get out of this one package of chicken breasts that we paid four dollars and ninety seven cents are you with me? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's take this out of the package. Okay, so first we're going to see that we have one chicken breast, pretty big. Two chicken breasts, and the third one. So we have three whole chicken breasts with a bone in in this package. So another way you can save is remember if you buy the chicken breasts that have the bone out you're gonna the price is gonna definitely increase okay okay so now let's the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this breast off the bone and I want to make sure that you can see so let me one second
Okay, I want to adjust the camera one minute. Okay, that's better. Now you can see the counter. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down the side of this bone. You're going to feel the bone on your knife. And um, so I'm going underneath the bone. And I'm coming straight down. The bone is really guiding the knife where to go. And I'm rubbing up against that bone as I come down so that you try to leave most of the chicken on the bone. Okay, let me show you what I've done so far. You see? I'm sorry. One second. Okay, I took the ringer off the phone so I don't have that problem. Alright, so you can see my progress so far. See? I cut right down this bone here. Okay, and it, it has me to this point here. Okay? Now, Okay, now I'm totally free, and I'm going to pull the skin right off. See? Okay, now you have a boneless chicken breast. See that? Without paying a heavy price. And this is what it looks like once I took it off the bone. Okay, so this here, you can save, and you can boil and make chicken broth, okay? Or boil and make chicken soup, all right? So you do not have to throw this away. Okay, so now, well, I think I wanna start with this one piece first. Just cutting this layer of fat off right here. Okay. Now this one I want to make into chicken breast, but smaller pieces. So here it is, and I'm gonna cut this way. Okay. Okay, that's one piece. And here I am again. Okay, cutting again this way. And you'll notice that now I have my hand on the back side of the blade. Okay, that's two pieces. And this is three, a smaller one. Okay, I have a little extra little pieces here. We'll put that over there, see what we're going to do with that. Okay, so now we're going to do the next one, the same process. Going down the back. I 
and you want to feel for that bone and I'm still feeling for the bone I had to go in a little deeper to feel the bone but I feel it now I'm going down following the bone like I did the first time so when you get to the end you're going to be at the skin part and then there's a bone that is going cross that you just need to cut through okay I'm taking the skin off so here we go here's the second one okay Now this one, oh, and let me show you your pork tenderloin. These are your chicken uh, fingers that they sell you, sell to you. See that? It pulls right off. It's right there. It was laying right there all the time. Just pull that right off. Okay. Okay, this one, let's make some chicken strips. So I'm going to cut this whole thing in half one time. Now, so here we go. We have two pieces, right? And now we're going to cut this into some strips. So we got one, two, three, four, and they look like this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and remember we had a, a little piece over here out, um, in our chicken tenderloin. So that's 12. Let's use the, the uh, chicken tenderloin as well. I'm going to cut this two times. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we got some more pieces. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty-two. Okay, so we got twenty-two pieces of the chicken fingers so far. That size. Okay. 
All right, so now we have our last chicken breast to cut off the bone. So I'm gonna find the end of that bone by feeling with my finger. Then I'm gonna hug up against that bone so that I can feel that bone as I'm cutting through. All right, I'm almost through. Okay, now I'm gonna pull the skin off. Okay, third piece of chicken breast is free from the bone. Here's the chicken breast. Here's your chicken tenderloin, see? Just pull that right off. We're gonna add that to our strips. Okay, now this one, I think I want to make it into some, uh, let's make it some chicken, I'm going to call it chicken chunks. Okay, so it's that white. Okay. Okay, so I have four of these. So let's recap. So we, out of one breast, we have four um, I'm going to call it chicken chunks. Okay. That could be one meal, right? And by the way, you know, if you're used to eating two and three pieces of meat per meal, you need to cut back because of the cost. Okay. You're only supposed to have four ounces in the first place, but at least now cut back. Okay. So this is going to be one meal. This could be for four people. Okay. This is two chicken breasts. This is for two people. And then we have our chicken fingers, which is quite a bit. Let me get a smaller plate here. I'm running out of room. Here we go. I'll use the top. I'll use this top. So then we have our chicken fingers. If we were to divide that in half, oh yeah, that's plenty. We have two more meals for two people, okay? Or if you put it together, it's for four, okay? So you can see how whatever way, because, you know, you have to decide how big your family is and what you need. But you can clearly see a package of chicken breasts that was three breasts that cost 
$4.97 that I'm able to um, feed, let's just say for two people, okay? I'm going to get one, two, three, four meals for that $4.97. That's around, I would say, um, wow, that's a... Uh, how much would that be? If it was five dollars even, that would be a dollar twenty-five cents. So we're gonna say it's five dollars. We know it's four dollars and ninety-seven cents, but we're gonna round it up and say five dollars. So this is a dollar twenty-five for this chicken breast meal for two people. $1.25 for this chicken breast meal for two people. And remember, these two are the chicken fingers. Okay. And if you don't want fingers, you can cut it up, make soup, and stretch it even further. Another $1.25 for two people. So each person would get two pieces. Or maybe you have that for, t uh, for two meals. Who knows? And then two breasts, a dollar twenty-five here. And then here's all you need to make soup. So you're gonna boil this, and then once you boil it, you're gonna peel all the meat off of this, and you're gonna make your soup. Okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. So if we count that, the bones that we cut off. We're even even cheaper, okay? We're down to a dollar a meal because this would be counted. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we would be down to a dollar a meal for uh, two people out of that five four dollars and ninety seven cent package of chicken breasts. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so. Uh, follow me on the next video and I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to make with, we're going to start out with the, the chicken uh, breast here. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to end this segment. Let me give you the word of the day. Let me wash my hands. The word of the day. The word of the day is stretch, stretch, stretch your meat, your vegetables, your money, your mind, and save. Okay? Do not, do not leave all your money at the grocery store just because things went up. No, you have to change. And change is good. And this word of the day I want you to play what I'm saying in your head over and over and over again until you decide that you're going to change because change is good. So if you have a, um, let's say you may have a cabbage and you normally cut up the whole cabbage. Mm -mm. Just use half, okay? Rice, measure it out. Um, any your seasonings, I want you to start buying it in a large size. Do not buy those little containers anymore. Okay, get a large size. All right, this is 11.5 ounces. Get it that big because that's going to last you maybe six months. Okay, versus you paying three dollars and ninety-nine cents or more for a tiny container like this. No, we got to stop that, okay? And you don't need every season the seasoning there is because you have to cut back, okay? So I want you to think about those things. And while you're cutting back, you might as well go ahead and cut back on some more things <laughs> like your, uh, uh, maybe you like to buy clothes or you may, maybe you like to eat out. Cut all of that stuff out. Okay, now that is a great word of the day. All right, 
I just wanted to bring that word of the day to you and show you how to save on that $4.97 package of chicken breast that we cut up and we got it down to a dollar a meal for two or more. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.